What's the good YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston. Yeah. Um, as most of y'all know, this last weekend, or this past weekend, was YCS Long Beach, the largest tournament ever in history. And I got the pleasure to attend. So, mostly I wanted to know why I decided to play Heroes. The reason I played Heroes was because the deck has a very, very consistent ratio against the other decks. And when I say that, I mean like, it draws better than other decks consistently. And I, and I figured in a long run of that, the best deck would be the one who draws consistently. Because the other decks can jam up and draw like normal monsters or wind up is missing a piece of the combo or the sectors are missing the Hornet or a card to take the Hornet to the graveyard rather. So that's why I decided to play Heroes. Um, <clears throat> now, my hero deck was very different than most hero decks. But it wasn't too much different than Joe's deck. Joe decided not to play Honest and all that. I decided to play Honest. Um, most people wanted to know why I did not play, um, what you call that, the third Gemini Spark. Well, the reason I didn't play the third Gemini Spark was because I only played three insect, um, not insectors, Neo aliases. I don't see the point of playing three Sparks with three aliases. Um, sometimes it clogs up for me personally, so I just decided not to do it that way. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a bit about myself. I love to play. I love to play decks that are like not not so not so the meta. And when I say that, I don't like to play rabbits if everyone's gonna play rabbits on sectors. If everyone's gonna play on sectors, and windups if everyone's gonna play windups. So heroes was my <coughs> my choice. I decided to play heroes one week before. I saw Jerry Wayne play in, a, in, 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 his, in his store. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just woke up like recently and came to school. I'm in school now. But um, yeah, I decided to play Heroes because I saw what he was doing with it. So I borrowed all the cards from one of my, like three of my friends um, Kyber, Aaron Diaz, as mostly I know, Ahmed, and Hyde. He, Hyde makes the, um, the Oracle cards. So each piece of paper, as you can see, have like what I did per round and all that. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go over it with y'all real quick. Heroes was my first round match, and I won in game three. It was a good nerd match. Um, game two, I me mean, game two is probably the hardest, but game three I completely scraped the guy. Only because I opened up like beer nuts, and I opened up one my only one copy of Super Poly. So yeah. Round two I played some DD removal deck. It was a female. She didn't play no side deck, no extra deck. And she would have beat me, but she misplayed in, uh, in the game three. So I was kind of lucky there. As you can see, the life points was very, very close. As you can see it there. So round three, I lost my first rabbit deck I played, and I lost to it in time. Um, yep, I lost to it in time, and I was so angry at myself because if I would have won next turn because I had super power and everything, but. I don't know how a rabbit that goes in a time, but he was like, he was a real, real funny guy, so I can't get mad. Mirror match round four, another hero deck. I, it didn't go to game three. That was kind of an easy mirror match for me because once again, I just, I just abused the hero's blast and the um, super poly before my opponent. And um, usually in mirror matches, you do not super poly first because it said that the last person I super probably wins, but I did my first round one. Now, I played Samurai's round five, and I beat Samurai. This Samurai character, well, play Ashimi, this, this Samurai player was a very, very difficult player nonetheless, because he always had solemn judgment and solemn warning every game. But I still won, um, luckily, because he activated solemn early on a Gemini Spark, I believe, and he didn't want me to draw, and he brought out Shin, but I just stomped it out, you know, because she can't be honest, so I got lucky. Round six, I played in front of these, and I lost. It was a very, very close game. Life points was 4,000 to 2,000, me leading, but um, he had space for my Shadow Prison Mirror and my Macro Cosmos, and he just went off. I feel with Shadow Prison Mirror, Macro Cosmos and Scare Dream, but the turn earlier, he affirmed he broke the Scare Dream. Okay, round seven, I played Insectors. Um, most people think Insectors are the worst matchup, 
And I agree with that to a certain extent, but if your side deck is ready for it and you can beat uh, uh, then if you can beat game, um, incentives in game one, you should have a chance nonetheless. So, yeah, I beat him in game three. Over round eight, I played insectors again. And I, I beat insectors around, um, around eight. No, no, no. Sorry, round nine, I beat insect. I lost against insectors. It was the first tournament. It was the first game of the day, day two, because you know they had 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 day two, and I lost. I was so upset because it was a close, close, close game, but he just top decked the Dragonfly. Round 9, I played a random dark deck. It was a random dark deck from a very, very, um, probably like an older format ago, but um, we took it to game 3. Game 2, I just, he just scraped me. He had 8,000, and he just died at Caius and everything. I had 400 left and he tribute some of his clients for game. So that was game two. But game three, I came back and then would like fear. Like I did not want to lose to a dog deck. So I just I just had to do it. <laughs> just had to win, of course. Game 10, I played against another insect deck match. Another insect deck, rather. But this guy, I beat him game one. In game two, he got a game loss for miscommunication and um, side decking improperly. So, yeah, that was my round 10. Round 11, yet again, I played another Insector deck. I beat it to him. It was fairly easy. And round 12, I played one of the Europeans from um, Europe, I believe. And he played Rabbit. We took it to game 3, but I just didn't have anything in game 3. Anything to beat him with. Game two, I came back really, really, really fast and got him. But game two, I mean game three, was it was all his game. So that's like a basic tournament report for me. I'm not gonna go into depth about like what people was wearing and all that, like most people. But yeah, my my hero deck was different than probably everyone else's. But just keep in mind that it fit it fit my playstyle. I believe that I can take out some cards. Um, I am. I still stand strong to what I said about me not playing Silent Morning. I didn't feel the need to play Silent Morning because the hero deck like destroys everything one for one. So if I'm playing like a one for one deck, and most of the, mo most of the monsters don't stay on the field, I, I don't see the point of me playing like Silent Morning. And Silent Morning is to me Silent Morning is not good in an insect matchup. I rather compose or the or the random Phoenix chain. Um, most people ask me why I played Maxis and not Effect Veil is in my, in my main deck if I anticipated playing a lot of Insectors. Um, the reason for that is I just figured that my deck was like, my deck had a good setup against Insectors because I made it to Skill Dream, I made it to Compose, the one Phoenix Chain, the, the, three, the, the two Gemini Sparks, the two Heroes Blast. So I figured that there was no wrong that I can do. Um, or no wrong that can happen per se. Um, and at YCS Atlanta, I played Insectors, and I won eight and three. YCS Long Beach, I played Heroes, as you know, and I went nine and I mean eight and four. I feel something good is like is about to happen because I'm, it's I'm not losing on the bubble per se. Well, in Atlanta, I lost on the bubble, but in Long Beach, I didn't lose on the bubble per se, but I still had a good like a like a good percentage overall. So. Yeah, that's what happened to me on YCS in Long Beach. If you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments below. And like this video, subscribe to this video, um, subscribe to my channel, post this on your Facebook wall, your Doulas Girl page and all that. Um, and special shout outs and congratulations to Joe Giolando for topping top four. I, I think he deserves a chip soon. Barry Keys also, I, I'm a big fan of Barry Keys. And, um, my boy Anthony P, he topped once again with rabbits, and I will, my next video I'm going to probably talk about how I side decked in and out, and how I, um, how I was prepared the prior week. Um, you already know, if it's not probably that stick out, do see.